Good morning, everybody. So it's about 8 a.m. and we have a meeting at 9 at the well at Sac State. Um, in fact, we have some news to tell you. Something crazy happened. We received an email saying we were violating a media policy saying that, you know, well, I'll link the email right here, actually, so you guys can read it. But um, we are not allowed, apparently not allowed to film workouts with a camera or an iPhone and post on social media. Tell them about how we got in trouble uh, using a camera. So we use, they said we can use our right. phone, so we use our So phone. we used to film there with this camera, but obviously, like, they saw that and they weren't okay with that so they asked us to like not use a camera we can film with the phone so they we were like okay cool film with the phone because you know everyone takes snapchat stories instagram stories whatever workout videos and stuff so we do the same thing we post on youtube and on our uh you know facebook and instagram so we didn't that would be a problem um but until we received the email so we requested to meet with the director of the well which is like the president of the school director of the well um at 9 a.m so that's what we're doing. We're going to talk about what we violated and how this can be fixed without because they're threatening to either suspend our memberships or threaten us that we have to take down the videos. Like all of them that have the well inside of it, apparently. We don't have anything that says the well. We just have workouts taking place inside the well. But um, we just want to clarify like what we did wrong, how we can fix it, and how to prevent this from happening in the future, basically. So, um, I mean, it's kind of like a little excessive in my opinion I've never had someone say you can't post workout videos on your phone or whatever like inside a gym but I mean so we're gonna go to the well talk with her and then we're gonna have a little workout with my film <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys at school all right what's going on guys so this morning we did have the meeting at the well um, the gym at sex state and we discussed the media policy that we violated and we just had a few questions going in um, because they threatened our memberships and they also said that if we do not like delete some of the footage that we had taken at the well, we our memberships would be deleted. So we kind of went in and talked to them and then um, what questions did you have? Um, so one of the main questions that I wanted to ask them was like, I, I wanted every specific video that they were referring to because I didn't want to assume I knew what they were talking about. So I always find it better to have the other party explain before you ask any, like, before you answer any questions. So that was that. And they clarified that it was just our business page that we just started up, the Katie KB Instagram, um, that it was just conflicting with their it like the well um it was it wasn't like a conflict of interest it was like oh, yeah. um our our business using their business for marketing purposes or we weren't allowed to film there for our business purposes but we they said we could film there for our individual purposes and just say hey we're working at the well on our individual pages but we're not allowed to post it on the kdkb fitness page right yeah i mean as our business is growing like our business is growing really fast and we have been talked to at other gyms for like different things and stuff like filming and, and, and such but um, we do plan in the future to have a specific location where we actually do film and train um, and just do everything while we're marketing and stuff but I mean we understand that things are gonna come up we're gonna be tested you know we're not like following everyone's rules exactly the way people want them to but like that's part of um, growing a business and expanding your business is that in order to get started you must do yeah. like it's almost like you have to like kind of like you got to be adaptable and you got to be like right now we're trying to do everything we can to grow this business to market ourselves and I mean obviously you don't want to piss off the well being anything could be I, th I thought that they were going to say it's a conflict of interest and we can't film because in the policy it said you can't exploit or whatever well and post publish it on the internet or whatever and it's like people take snapchats and instagram stories all the time and tag you guys how is that not allowed but then they explain if it was our individuals individual accounts it would be okay but it's just it's so for dumb the yeah it's, it's, we, like us trying to explain it right now kind of like clarifies how ridiculous it sounds mm -hmm. exactly so we understand the business part of it but we know our business is going to grow even further so it really doesn't matter but it's just little nitpicky things that they wanted to like target and stuff and so do other gyms but um 
that's part of, we understand that that's part of growing a business and doing what we're doing. Yeah. So, we just want to put that, put that out there. We're not actually like going to stop filming completely. If you guys saw the thumbnail, <laughs> a little bit of clickbait. But um, we're going to continue doing what we do. So, stay tuned for that. And then, um, so to, su to sum it up, the well won't be on our business page anymore, but on our personal accounts, you best believe we're still posting. Yeah. I'm not an instigator, and like I don't like to stir the pot. I just think like when things are just a little ridiculous, like honestly, like are we really doing them any harm? It's just no. like I think people have a little bit too much time on their hands, and there are like I get it. Like there are certain legal rules and stuff, but like make sure you get everyone's consent before you film with them in the background. It's like we don't film anybody, and if we do, it's like yeah. we're conscious of what we're doing. And when we do film our clients, our clients actually do sign a consent form. So bottom line is like, okay, we're gonna <laughs> we we're gonna can't tag them. We're gonna have speed bumps in our pursuit for like business growth <laughs> and all this other stuff, but uh, you know, we're willing to accept it and still move forward and still keep our eye on the goal. We got a few other conflicts going on right now too. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna get uh, going on the rest of our day, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, so we just finished cooking my breakfast right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So we have two packets of oatmeal with a little bit of almond milk. We have four whole eggs. I actually made five, but I ate one. And a cinnamon raisin bagel with a full glass of water. But we literally have to leave in like five minutes, so we're about to eat this really quickly. And then I think Kayla's finishing up too. So, see you guys at school. All right, everybody. We are on our way to class. We got class at 10:30, and right now it's 10:35. So that's our life. But we'll tell them what we have to do. Um. Yeah, we'll fill you guys in in the car. Whatever. All right, guys. So we didn't really film a lot at school because we were really like rushing, and we had back-to-back -back classes. But we're here back at home and we're getting ready for the gym. Today's chest day for me and Kayla hit legs hella hard yesterday. And uh, Kayla, what are you hitting? Back. Back, Kayla's hitting back. And uh, we're gonna get it done. We're not gonna film this workout, but we're gonna film tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then right now I'm taking my pre-workout. And I also like to take this supplement. It's called Anabolic Bridge by First Form. And it's an amazing um, supplement for like, just a pre-workout and before bed. I know people take it before bed. It's, um, it helps protein synthesis, it like maximizes it in your body, and also helps stimulate the um, amino, amino acid levels in your blood and in your body, as well as, it's like a pump factor too, so I think, um, I don't, there's no beta alanine, but I know there's something that helps you with the pump, so I take 10 pills, that's like the dosage, dosage. so I get that done and then we go work out. Everybody check out Kayla's new leggings from Jed North. Turn on. And her waist trainer and her top. That's all matching. Damn. Making me look like <laughs> shit. Dang, bro, do you even lift? Nah. Today was back day. She hit it hella hard. And, uh, First thing is we're just going to do a lukewarm salted bath for 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll have to come back. Alright. So first we're gonna do a lukewarm, like Kayla just said, lukewarm salt water bath for 10 to 15 minutes. 15 to 20. 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna bake it. Uh, either we're gonna bake it or fry it. The other, the bulk of it, it's the hell of like. All right, we'll try frying it because that's what we're used to. But um, we like to cook our chicken or all our meats and stuff all at once when we're on prep and when we're just dieting in general. Um, cook all our vegetables uh, normally at once and then cook all our rice like for me in my case I cook all my rice at once um, It's just easier a lot easier than cooking individual meals because when I go to cook meals, you know I just take out what I need from each um, food item that I want and put it in and heat it up eat it rather than just cooking meals and meals and meals because I mean each meal can be different, but I don't like the way like foods taste when they're all refrigerated together and stuff so that's what we like to do and uh, we're gonna do some chicken right now, so here we go. I 
out guys we told you we we're gonna put the um, chicken in the water for like 15 minutes but it's been like an hour so we're gonna finally get on it because we I've been actually editing my my last YouTube video our, that you guys saw our last okay go okay so now I just rinsed off the chicken and then we're gonna dry it and then we're gonna uh, put it in the pan and cook it perfect that looks really good Ooh, baby all she cares about is her butt, so we just ignore ignore that and just focus on the chicken. Oh yeah, look at those gates. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now we're gonna cook some chicken, um, what you guys are watching this video for, so we're gonna put it in there. <laughs> no one wants to see your butt. No one wants to see your- No one wants to see me. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> We got a special guest here. Oh my gosh. I don't know why you're watching this video. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> what season do you want to do? Real talk though. Uh, this one? What, can you run to Target and go get Cholula? So I'm gonna run to Target real quick to get some Cholula sauce because that's our favorite sauce we actually ran out so I'm gonna get like two of them. But um, we like to cover our chicken because it kind of cooks both sides but then halfway through we flip it anyways. It's just to get even more even cooking than if you didn't cover it. So uh, if you guys want more even cooking and to cook it slower, suggest you guys cover it. So that's what we're gonna do. And then halfway through we actually cut it too. Just to ensure that the inside is cooked all the way. We get to cut it, see how the inside looks, and that's how we eat it anyways. You just cut it, and then finish the rest of the cooking, season a little bit more, and then finish it up. So Kayla's gonna continue cooking. I'm gonna run a target real quick. See you guys in a little bit. Cooking with puppies. I like to cook with puppies. Cooking with puppies. Cooking with puppies. Alright guys, so we just finished cooking up all the chicken and my rice. Hold on, let me focus this. Oh, there's some in that drawer. And then we're going to add a little bit of mushroom and then we're going to eat up um, our dinner for tonight. So that was fun, right Kayla? Yeah. And mushrooms are done. Damn, how delicious does this look? Delicious. Got rice, chicken, Kayla's little meal of spinach, asparagus. We actually got this asparagus from Trader Joe's. It's actually microwavable asparagus. So all you do is pop it in the microwave for like three minutes and then it's fully cooked. And we, we like to season it actually with seasoning. chili lime seasoning. And Cholula and garlic salt. Cholula, garlic salt, okay. and like lemon, right? Uh, no. No, lemon? you want to try lemon? Chili and lemon. Uh, maybe, sure. All right, so we're going to season that up and then we're going to eat up. Yeah. Good job, baby. Oh yeah, you season that shit up, baby. Oh yeah. God, that's so good. It's the, I think it's this stuff. You make me want to eat my food. What is it, Tajin? Tajin? Ta oh, I Tajin? I don't know. Tajin? All right, time to eat. Spicy. Kayla's little masterpiece. Mine. So we're about to end tonight by eating this and watching some um, educational YouTube. We like to watch people like uh, Grant Cardone, Elena, Ed Milet, we like to watch. Sometimes Ty Lopez, Omar. also Omar with The Passionate Few, we learn a lot from him. Yep. And he, he asked like really a lot of good um, in-depth questions on these uh, really successful people. And uh, Gary Vee is a big one too. I like to listen to Andy Frisella's podcast oh, in the yeah. morning. The MFCEO project, he's like honestly hardcore, gets me going in the mornings, every single morning, or almost every single morning. And we're actually gonna finish some more interviews with uh, Tom Bailu. Yeah, so uh, finish tonight and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah.